So Golan, have you ever been told as a Jewish man that it's forbidden for you to read the New Testament? Only every other day. Why do you ask? <laughs> well, because I've been told that too growing up. I was told never to, uh, you know, to stay clear of it. And I think it's because most Jewish people think that the, the New Testament is anti-Semitic in some way, that if you open it, you're gonna see, you're gonna see anger and hate and fear and persecution. But it's not like that. That's exactly what I thought when I opened the first page of Matthew, the Gospel according to Matthew. I thought I was reading, a re I, I would read a recipe for anti-Semitic. Anti yeah, yeah. But you know what? The first sentence of the, of the New Testament? Completely Jewish. The, the genealogy of Jesus the Messiah, the son of David, son of, son of Abraham. Abraham. It doesn't get any more Jewish than that. Exactly. It's a wonderfully Jewish book. Why this fear of opening the New Testament? This is not a coincidence. There is, this is a plan by Rabbinic Judaism to make Jews as, uh, go as far as possible from a different rivalry theology, from a different kind of Judaism. The rabbinic Judaism wants you to think there's only one kind. Now, add to this 2,000 years of anti-Semitism. Right. And what do you get? You get the, the opposition from the inside, from the rabbinic church. Right. And the opposition from the outside, from the so-called church, the so-called Gentile church. Okay. So, so Jews are stuck in the middle mm. between, between the rabbinic ideas the rabbinic Judaism and between the hostility, the, 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 the true anti-Semite of Gentiles that was caused in the name of Yeshua. Right. So just think how evil Satan is to make, to, 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 to persecute Jews under the banner of the only place they can get salvation. Wow. Under the banner of Yeshua. Can you be more evil than that? Wow. That's amazing. So who was the rabbi? that lived during a specific period of time where there was very heavy persecution of Jewish people that made his, inter was it Rashi? Exactly. That made the interpretations of Isaiah 53? Yes. Steer people away from the true Messiah. Exactly. And you know, the, the absurdity, the irony is that people think that Rashi is close to the text, what we call pshat. Uh -huh. Rashi interpretation is really close to the text. Like and it's now, like a simplification. Exactly, and now Bible scholars and Rashi scholars are saying no. Rashi was the opposite of the simple meaning of the text. Rashi was in a constant debate against the messianic interpretation. Now the poor guy w wanted to protect his community from anti-Semitic. He didn't know better. Yeah. Um, I feel sorry for the guy. It's not like I, uh, I, I despise him. Of course not. Right. His, meanings, his, his, his meaning, his intentions were good. But, he, but again, he would, he would protect his community and, uh, uh, against the clear meaning of the text. So his interpretation was based on the current situation at the time. Heavy persecution. Heavy persecution. Heavy by the so-called church. Can you imagine that? Yeah. And why does that happen? Is it because you can take a, a verse, some Bible verses out of context and use them for your specific uh, negative or evil plans. Okay, so the question arises, is the New Testament provoke somebody for right. anti-Semite? Right. And the answer is no, because no. if you read the New Testament in its context, it's a debate between Jews, it's in the That's family. Right. It's like calling a, 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 a Isaiah or a, or, or a, a Elisha yeah. or Elijah anti-Semites because they critic they, they critic Israel. They criticize the the religious authority and and, the, and Israel for their waywardness, for their, yeah. for their sin, and to come back to God. And they were persecuted. Exactly. And by the way, oh, the, Ye Yeshua Himself, Yeshua the Messiah, and His disciples. Were, were persecuted by other Jews. So can we call rabbinic Judaism anti-Semit? No, and, of, of course not. not. Of course not. It's, a, it's an inner dispute within one ethnic group about the right way to serve God or to, 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 to worship God. And there's always been this dispute, this inner family dispute between Jewish sects, exactly. different religious groups. And when one persecutes another or when one criticizes another, it's not anti-Semitism. What did Moses tell God? They want to stone me. Yeah. Moses is done. And God said, I'll, I'll wipe them out. And Moses is praying, don't, don't, don't. Yeah. Leave, them, leave them, you know, put, 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 take, take, my, take me instead. There was a, ra a Jewish rabbi from Hungary? Yeah, I forgot I his name. I forgot, I forgot the, the, the year. We'll put that down in the description. He was given a New Testament. He took it, threw it all across the room. It laid on the floor for 40 years, some 30 or 40 years collecting dust. He picked it up and he said something along the lines of, I'm paraphrasing here, 
of I was expecting all of the worst. Yeah, to find anti-Semitism. And yet I found, I found beauty and I found, I found love. And I, f I was looking for thorns and I found exactly, roses. Exactly, I love it. And it's a, it's a beautiful quote. I'll put it down in the description. And this is the, this is the whole concept. Because if you don't open the New Testament, you have no idea of knowing. And that's exactly what happens to every Jew the first time he reads the New Testament. He's like, where was it? Where, how come I wasn't told? Right. It's like the, the, we have a fiction. We, have a, we, have a, we, we imagine the New Testament to be that way. Yeah. And we read it. It's, it's completely where different. Was it? Where was it all my it's life? It's completely different. Yeah, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to challenge you. If you're out there, if you haven't read the New Testament, if you're Jewish, if you're not Jewish, it doesn't matter. Open this book. Mm -hmm. Open this collection of books that shows us about the true Messiah. It doesn't have anything to do with anti-Semitism. Anti Actually, the opposite. If you read the Bible in its context, and if you read the Bible with an, with an open mind and an open heart, you'll see that it is the most loving book because it shows you the way. Exactly to salvation. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Golan. So if you like the videos like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be the first to know when new videos come out and leave your comments down below. God bless you all. Take care.